What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I uh, promised that we would have another. So here we are, HVND. So when uh, I had the black toes, you saw in the previous video, the, the prototype uh, placed an order, wanted that one for sure. They're like, hey, we want to send you something else. I'm like, really? So here it is. This is another piece of significant history from the Air Jordan brand, Michael Jordan, PE. So all the bells and whistles again. We have the bag, the cloth bag, and the smell comes first, and then comes the shoe, the strap. So Michael Jordan broke his foot, and then he returned to have this reinforced, and they basically recreated this amazing piece of history with amazing quality and craftsmanship and all the details. So just, just beautifully done. Absolutely amazing. These are just like, I was impressed with the black toe. And then these came and I was like, wow, okay. All right. That's something special. So you can see the, the leather, it's red and a little more cherry finish as they um, like to say, it's a little more vibrant. Again, kind of like MJ's PE cut where it's a little lower cut. Uh, got the larger swoosh, got the strap, so the strap goes here, and then as this kind of fastens around the tongue, you see the branding here, HVND, it's got the, the looser stitching style, like that OG font that we see on the old, you know, Nikes from the 1980s, um, but yeah, just construction, attention to detail, again, like the similar collar, you can see the material, it's got that um, kind of flat matte synthetic material really soft just thick leather cuts you can just see uh, it's just crazy like the leather on these is just beautiful really simulated the the original you know from 1985 or 1984 even with Jordan specs uh, but yeah I just really really impressed again thank you guys over at HVND and uh, when it came to these I know they put a lot of work into it and they you know they had like 14 14 like patterns that they did to get this right to get where they wanted it to be so it's definitely like a lot of work puts in you know it's a lot of it's a lot of love a lot of patience and uh, I know they wanted to send these to me earlier but it just you know for the amount of time that it takes to actually put this kind of production together to where they're happy with it uh it took more time and I was like take your time you know if I can help out if I can get send you photo references whatever you know um, but yeah, totally understandable. Let's look at the, the leather cuts. It's raw, thick cut right at the toe. Um, so on the black toe, you remember the black was a little thinner. This was a little thicker, but just like, you know, the OGs, depending on the factory, some are a little thinner, some are a little thicker, depending on what, uh, what, what factory they actually came from. So my Chicago's, my OGs, which we'll be comparing soon, are a little, are a little different. They're a little thinner cut from the TY1 factory. Uh, but yeah, these are just really, really amazing. Again, made in Korea. And uh, next we're going to show you guys just how they kind of, you know, match up with that original 1985 release. All right. So we got our 1985 Chicago Jordan 1 on the left and the HVND custom handmade strap. So Jordan broke his foot. He came back and they put the strap basically mechanism to keep his ankle in place. Uh, these are, these, I think they might have been slightly worn tops, like maybe very little, like I'll show you guys the soles later, but there's like barely any wear. But you can see they lift off, off a little bit more than these, not, not heavily. Um, but again, depending on the factory, you know, with the different midsoles they use, so it might lay flatter. I think the S, the, uh, BY, not the SCP, the BY factory that I have, um, runs a little lower. So again, like the OGs, the different specs a little bit, definitely. Um, and these were kind of smashed like over the years, just not really filled. So obviously when I got them, I stuffed them out, they look great. Uh, but yeah, you can just tell that, you know, like I mentioned in the black toe video, you got the perforations here are just a slightly larger than they are on the HVND. These aren't laced up. So obviously it looks wider, but when you, if you had them laced, it's, it's really, really on the point. You can really see that it looks pretty spot on. Um, the heights again. This is a 10 and a half and 11, just like the, the last one. And the OG is a little higher. And this is just a little shorter cut, kind of mocking that Jordan mid. And also, I wanted to mention that they did 14 patterns, as I mentioned earlier, for this uh, Chicago strap version. And 
it's a different, still a different pattern than they use for the black toe prototype. So you have a lot of, they, I mean, these guys really try for each each version of whatever they're doing to not, oh, let's just slap this colorway and put the strap on and call it a day. No, like they go through, they do research, they do patterns, like I said, numerous ones, and they really try to get exact to what each version they're trying to make. Obviously, this has the Wings logo. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look at the tongue. And HVND, you got the OG style stitching. The stitching here, um, on here, you can see it's a little looser. What I wanted to mention was the padding. The padding feels a little more plush even on this one. It's good. It's very much like the originals. But on this one, on my original, the padding, it's an early early model or early uh, production from 2485. And it just disintegrated. It was like powder. Uh, I could change it, but I, I like to just leave everything as is. But you can tell it's just got, there's no body in there. Uh, so yeah, I just leave them, leave them the way it is. But my other ones, this is really on point with like the OG padding. Uh, so nice job on that. And yeah, as you go down the toe, uh, different, a little different cuts like the MJ's, you can see it's a little more narrow like we saw on the black toe. And this is just a little, little wider cut along the toe cap. But yeah, they match up, you know, really good. Again, the leather, like the leather smell, the feel. The look, you guys can tell just from the video. No conditioning, nothing. You know, these conditioned years ago. It's been a while. But you can just tell the, you know, just the quality. It's got that sheen, just beautifully, beautifully selected leather. It's really, really high quality. Again, I'm going to use the word premium. You don't see that very often. Jordan Brand sometimes throws this premium word around for some of these releases that nobody really wants. I wish we would see that more premium use on like the Retro 85s. And other models but yeah this is definitely we could say premium uh, right after this we're going to switch it and we're going to look at the heel view all right so here's the heel view again you can see definitely some thick you know it's dyed dyed leather on some of the factories you can see and it's a little thinner cut along the collar and this is just exposed like fresh cut so depending on which which factory you got like i showed you guys the black toe is more of the exposed and then this one the uh, HVND black toe was a little more of the painted edge. Uh, so there's different ways that they process the leather. I'm not saying one's better quality than the other. They're all high grade as as the original Chicago and black toe and so on, each factory. Uh, but yeah, you could, again, I like we saw from the front view, you can see that the 10 and a half to an 11 is a little higher cut. So this would be your quote unquote mid. Um, so you can see the height difference, the collar, you know, reflecting on that. A little brighter red this is a little duller the uh, midsole it's a little thinner on that even like the by factory usually it's a little wider cut than this this is more of the, your your standard air jordan one uh retro outsole midsole you could say uh not as much curve as the originals but yeah again we'll look at the tongue tag in here let's pull this forward so the strap goes over the top as you can see let's make it i'll take it off so you can see a little easier but again you can see the nice it's very like the OG finish, the originals, made in the Republic of Korea. It's beautifully done. And I want to show you guys that the other ones are laced up, but how this, the uh, insole, the material, you can see how it's kind of fuzzy. It's really soft. That's very much like the original insoles. So it's pretty cool that they actually sourced it to where it's pretty spot on. Um, kind of faded black laces, and the other one has the red laces. Couple sets, collar's really nice. You know, it's not crunchy like the OGs. If you have to replace, uh, replace some, um, but yeah, you can't really see down in here too well. But maybe we can get you to peek down. You can see the Nike branding. Uh, but yeah, same cloth. And here's the the stamp. So you got two four eighty five size ten and a half TY one factory. But you can see right here, like there's no padding in there. It just it was a mess. I had to, like dust it out because it was like all powder going down in there so when I first got them I was like oh that's a bummer but you know it is what it is and it's just keeping it in its original state uh, all right we go toe to toe and they look they look you know pretty good they match up nicely we start right from the toe box as I mentioned uh the leather just goes up a little higher um on some of Jordan's PEs and those early samples we see this was a little thinner cut um and the, you know the side kind of drops down 
on the uh, HVND. And it's a little higher cut here, obviously. It kind of reflects all the way throughout. But yeah, toe box looks really good. Nice thick cut. Again, you can see this leather is a little thinner. So depending on, again, the factory. Uh, nice straight heels. You know, there's some placement of the holes you could see. I meant to mention in my black toe video, but the black toe was like right here for the seventh lace hole. So as you see here, they got it right here, mocking the 80, the 85. But that 84 pro prototype they put here, which is really specifically on point when you look at those old photos, because they actually did have it elevated. So again, with this one, like I said, they switched the pattern, so they were looking at those details, and they nailed this right there. They didn't put it higher, because that's truly how it was. Um, again, we have the vinyl swoosh on the OG. We have a leather swoosh on HVND, and it's a little larger. And I don't see, I don't want to pull on this too much, but yeah, you can see, if I turn it, you can see the stitch line goes just slightly, ever so slightly above the strap. But this, this feel really amazing in hand, like when you're just handling the leather, just like even the side white panels, everything's really, really feels like, you know, if your eyes were closed, you'd be like, which one's the original? Hmm, let me see. It's that, it's that impressive. They really, they really feel high quality. And these guys, they talked with people that used to build the originals in 1985 and sourcing the leather and some of the factory workers and that. So it's like a true passion. A lot of research goes into their products and they, you know, it really shows obviously. Right. Um, and also people, they're against customs. They, they look at it as taboo. Oh, it didn't come from Jordan brand, but you know, it's really hard to hate on something when it's made so beautifully and the craftsmanship's there. We may never see anything like this even put out, like to this quality. Like, yeah, of course I'm going to support Jordan brand and buy, you know, the retros that I want that are coming out. But like the expectations of having like a product look this good uh, for a premium that, you know, like they say, they like to do some premium releases. I would be all for it, but I'm, that's not my expectation. I would love to see it one day, but this is like a long way off. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, let's uh, get back into the comparison and with the tooling of the original outsole, you can see it kind of curves around more. Uh, this one's got a little curve to it, but again, it's more of like your straight retro um, shape. Definitely the same thickness. Uh, they kind of mock each other nicely, maybe a, a tad wider on the back of the midsole here, but pretty, pretty close. Leather cuts again, you know, even up by the wings, the, the straps you can tell are, are thicker, thicker leather, just nicely exposed. And it's uh, on the TY1 factories are pretty typically painted and then uh, just as a little thinner. But the feel, the feel is where, you know, it's like pretty, like I said, if you have your eyes closed, you wouldn't really know the difference. Uh, next, we are going to go look at the outsoles. All right, so looking at the outsole, and as they always say, like the OGs run smaller, so just imagine this is a 10 and a half to an 11 modern day, and uh, yeah, smoother stars on the OG, a little more uh, protruding, a little more evident. Uh, yeah, I again, I don't know if these, I mean, there's like, they're all there, maybe like the slight, slightest amount of wear on, on the Chicago's, it's really good, and you can see it's just little, not as thick. And this is just a little, little thicker. I could say wider. Uh, shade of red, it you know matches pretty nicely to to the uh, the upper itself. Uh, but nothing, you know, that's your basic uh, basic pattern for your outsole in the Air Jordan One. And uh, we're gonna do a little quick recap after this. All right, so here's a quick recap. Um, again, thank you to HVND. It was amazing just to get the black toe and then they said they're you know wanting to send me these as well i was like wow okay now now we're talking that's a really really nice gesture i appreciate it and uh you guys can tell definitely the quality of everything so again thank you huge, huge shout out to them um again just some them close-up shots you guys can see the leather on these and just every every single stitch every single cut just attention to detail down to the wings. There's no trademark, you know, just like the originals. It's got, it feels like the original stuff. You know, the padding's, the padding's really well done. It's got the larger swoosh, which, you know, is like Jordan's PEs, which you can't even buy like that. So 
you know, you can see the cut where it goes into through the strap. You know, it's not cut too wide. Everything's just like really, just really well executed. Again, beautiful leather. And yeah, the smell, you can just smell the leather. It's really, really impressive. Even the strap itself, you can see it's just got uh, real nice soft leather. We didn't really show that up close. So yeah, it's got this part that comes up and it's kind of stitched in between there. And then it slides over the tongue. So you could just, you know, pop the tongues up and have that kind of popped in like that. Yeah, just beautifully done. Even the, let's look at the dial side. Nice sheen to the leather. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful piece of uh, craftsmanship along with the black toes. And don't forget to subscribe. Definitely give HVND a follow. I'll drop their name in the video as well. And, um, you know, we're going to keep it coming. Uh, follow me on Instagram at OG or Bust, and we'll see you again very, very soon.